My friends, the AZ500 exam for the Azure Security Engineer Associate title is very challenging, and the exam saw some updates on March 23rd, 2021. So what's changed, and how does this affect your exam prep for the last few weeks or even the last few months? We'll look no further. I'm going to quickly answer all of these questions and more to make sure you're on the right path for a win on game day. And speaking of the right path, stick around to the end, and I have a little something that'll be a big help. So let's talk March 2021 changes for the AZ500 exam. Now, if you're getting value out of any of my content, do be sure to give us a like and subscribe over on YouTube so you get a heads up when we drop our free certification videos. And be sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you have questions along the way, I'm always happy to have a chat and help wherever I can. So the same four objective domains are in AZ500. I mentioned these changes are fairly small. In fact, I have a lot of good news. So let's start with the big question first. So what if I've already started preparing for AZ500 a month ago or even three months ago? Well, the good news is uh, that your existing prep is 100% valid all the way back to November 2020. So more specifically, we saw a pretty sizable update to AZ500 in November 2020. We saw an incremental update on January 27th of 2021, and then an even smaller incremental update on March 23rd of this year. The good news here is all of these changes are additive and incremental, so there's no content disappearing. There's just a bit more being added, frankly. So all of your existing prep going back to the November updates, 100% valid. So before you get into it, do make sure you go back though and watch my video on the changes that came in January 27th, 2021's update because there were some significant branding changes that you need to, to worry about. So some of the services that you need to know for the exam went under a branding change to be renamed in the Azure Defender family. And I break some of that down for you in the January 2021 update. It's on my AZ500 playlist on YouTube, so it's quite easy to find. So let's get into the changes in March 2021, which came in Objective Domains 1, which is Manage Identity and Access, and Domain 3, which is Manage Security Operations. So in Domain 1, we saw a single change. We saw the addition of Manage Administrative Units. If you're not familiar with Administrative Units, I'll give you a pointer here in just a moment. And in Domain three, manage security operations, we really saw effectively one change that looks like three. So let me explain. We have a new skill measured configure workflow automation by using Azure Security Center. Frankly, this used to be in the exam last fall, pre-November of memory serve. So this more or less came back. And then we saw a little wording change. So we saw configuring workflow automation change to configuring a playbook using Azure Sentinel. And then we saw configure a playbook using Sentinel uh, in another section just dropped and, and moved up. So really not a lot of change there, but let's, let's just take a quick look at those changes here. So uh, administrative units in Azure Active Directory, a security boundary that allow us to restrict permissions and a role to any portion of our organization that we define. I'll have a link to this document in both my AZ500 study guide as well as just straight in the comments of this video. Uh, we have automating responses to security center triggers. This is going to be the page where you want to hit for the uh, security center workflow automation. And then using playbooks with Azure Sentinel, bam, bam, bam. These are all in my study guide, also in the description, uh, the comment, the uh, description section below this video. And before you take the exam, take five or 10 minutes and watch my video on how you should prepare for AZ500. I have resources here that are fast, effective, and free. Many people have used these. It's a combination of some content on LinkedIn Learning, uh, Microsoft Learn, my study guide, some pointers to some practice questions, but well worth your time to make sure you get your approach before you head down the road. And again, if you have any questions, be sure to come over and connect with me on LinkedIn or in the comments below. Let's have a chat. And that's all for the March 2021 update for AZ500. I hope you're getting value out of the series. Ping me with questions. And until next time, take care and stay safe.